Beauties, I'm Lenikia, and you're watching What Happened on the Soaps. This is the Bold and the Beautiful Edition. All right, let's get right into it. Today is Wednesday, January the 25th, 2023. On a scale of 1 to 10, you know what? I'm going to give it a 7 because I have thoughts about certain people. I, I No, you know what? It was probably a 6. Yeah, I'm going to give it a 7. I'm going to give it a 7. I'm going to give it a 7. Let's keep moving. <laughs> oh, let's keep moving. So we see Paris as well as Thomas. Now, Thomas is loving the fact that this fashion line has bombed and he's like, they need me back. And she's like, what you doing? Like, you really enjoy it. looking for another review? He said, no, I'm, I'm on my phone because I got to see Steffi and Hope, you know, hit me up and tell me to come on back, beg me back or whatever. And Paris was like, oh my gosh, you, so you just, not. he was like, listen, you know, I, I know I did wrong and why I'm not there, but you know, but they need me now. So I'm just waiting on them to hit me up. Now, what I didn't like about this whole episode, what really irked my nerves was hope. Uh, that's it with Thomas and Paris. We'll see them later on, <laughs> but was hope. So here you are with Eric and Zende, who's worked very hard on your line. They, the reviews might not have liked it, but they worked very hard on your line. And you go into panic mode instead of being like, okay, we need to regroup, guys. We got to figure out what it was. You know, let's do this. She went, goes right into panic mode, and Eric tries to tell her, it's not that bad, Hope. We can redesign this. And then they say, we could, re re you know, we could start from scratch, do it again. And she's like, oh, my God, we can't get me my God. Shut up. <laughs> like, what are you talking about? <laughs> you have your lead designers right there talking to you. And in their face, because Eric was like, I've been doing this for decades. That's exactly what I said. You've been doing this for decades. And y'all not finna sit up here and tell me that we were not seeing every other Friday Paris in a dress that Zende had created where they said, mm, Zende, you are as good as Thomas now. And even Thomas was like, man, you are as good as I am now. I don't care what y'all saying about, oh, it's about the vision. And so, yes. You're right, because Thomas was obsessed with Hope, so he would know the vision, but not when Hope is also standing there. You telling me that with Hope standing there, they missed the mark that hard? Oh, please. Oh, please. So anyways, moving right along, Hope is in front of them saying, oh my gosh, we need Thomas back. And and Steffi, Zende, and Erica are like, excuse me, what? He's fired. What are you talking about? And she was like, well, he can work remotely. And he can send, you know, his, his email in. I said, what? And Eric and Zende are like, what? I said, first of all, that is insulting to Eric and Zende. Eric and Zende, who have worked very tirelessly on your line. And I don't even understand why they have this next line out. Because you just did one line. You just did the other line where you walked out on that stage like a mannequin in that ugly showstopper. I'm sorry. I did not like that line. I know some of y'all loved it and you loved the outfits. I didn't personally like it. I thought it was a, <laughs> I didn't like the line. And and Hope walking out there um, like Dawn of the Dead while on that showstopper, I didn't like that either. But anyways, so now she's all like, oh, my God, we need to get Thomas back. I said, ma'am, no, you will not. Because Thomas just finished telling Paris that he can't even see his son. Like, he's not allowed to see his son. He's been kicked out of the family business and everything. And because your line went bad, now all of a sudden you want to run over to Thomas? Uh-uh, Hope. No, we're not going to use him like that. And you know Thomas, I could take him or leave him. You know, mostly leave him. But we're not going to use him like that. If you want him in the line then I don't want to hear anything else about the CPS call. Because what you're not going to do is use this man and then, well, let's set up all these boundaries about, because you didn't have boundaries before. You knew Thomas was messed up before and you you were look, overlooking all the red flags and everything about Thomas before. But now, because you are worried about your line, and it's just not about me. There's other people who I have to take care of and I have to think about. Girl, please. Oh, please. Please. So now you want to use Thomas. Mm -mm. I didn't like it. And I didn't like that she did that in front of them. Like, that's a conversation she could have had with Steffi on her own. You you sitting there having that in front of Eric and Zende? Girl, whatever. That's why Paris ain't your friend. And you sitting up here giving her all information. You should have knew Paris, known Paris was not your friend when she went and told uh, Thomas that you thought he was hot. So here Paris comes into the office 
telling her, I'm sorry I missed that meeting. She said, oh my God, it's like no more, need no more stress. I said, you can't hold nothing down. Need, and no one else needed to be stressed. And Paris said, oh, the review came out. How was it? I said, why are you acting like you don't know what the review was? Do no, Does no one know that Thomas lives with you? What What's going on? Do y'all not know? I don't know, y'all. But anyway, she, she said, it wasn't great. And all this stuff. And she said, and so Paris said, are you thinking about hiring Thomas back? And I said, girl, please. Girl, please. I can't stand up. Like, you being fake and phony and two-faced. I can't. So then we see Thomas what have the audacity to walk himself up in the office like he's not fired like nothing is wrong like he's not removed from the company and so he walks in and Steffi is on the phone you know trying to take care of some stuff for hope like y'all don't see the vision but we're gonna keep going in the direction and you're gonna and you're gonna love it and so he's like based on that phone call you because she's like what are you doing here he said based on that phone call you need me here and she was like what you eavesdropping now i said now Steffi, we're not gonna go there because you eavesdrop on everybody <laughs> but moving right along moving right along so anyways Thomas is just like, you need me here. And it's the smile. It's the smirk. It's the audacity to be so smug about it. You know why you're not there. And she reminds him, Thomas, you know why you can't help Hope on this line. He says, oh, Charlie didn't see me. And um, granddad, Eric, and all them, they're not, they don't have to know I'm here uh, and anything. So he starts laying out his designs, right? And she says, yeah. He was like, I, you know I'm artistic. I'm an artist. And these are great. Uh, these are good actually they're great they're fabulous and they're exactly what hope would want well if you hadn't called cps she could use your designs but you wanted to go and call cps on your uh, stepmom being a child because you wanted your mommy and daddy together and so that's why she can't use your designs and so then Steffi pretty much tells him the exact same thing and he shows no remorse and she was like you don't show any remorse about it and he says, I, I just wanted my family to be together. And I said, why don't y'all stop trying to work this boy and actually get him some help? Like, I would like it more, like, if they'd be like, well, we could, if they, when they hold, when they fire him and everything, if they, why y'all firing him instead of just getting him some help? The company could have been helped placed on hold you went and got him help and then came back to it that's why i was so infuriating with hope being like we need we need thomas back not you not you who sat down at the round table right along with them and kicked him out of the company and then made it a point to stand up walk over to thomas get in his face and turn your back on him so he could know you were turning your back on him and walk out of the office not you asking for help now and thomas not you coming up in here all smug and and like y'all are failing without me so come on there forget what i did and let bygones be got bygones and i'm gonna go ahead and work i'm like yeah just start your own line and be happy <laughs> just start your own line let letting hope be your muse and be happy because stephanie is like stephanie is like so are you telling me you're over your infatuation with hope and he was like i don't feel that way anymore oh boy you're telling me that you all of a sudden you're completely over all the feelings that you had for hope and have had for hope for how long has it been how long has it been you you're over all that please oh please but anyways i don't know what they're gonna do but i want to go over here to sheila and deacon because deacon is jealous he's like girl you ain't told me how you got with open you haven't told me how you got with Bill. Like, how did it happen? And Sheila really danced around this question the whole time. She never really tells him um, how it all happened. But he just tells her, listen, listen. It was me and you, girl. You you going to tell me Bill? Uh, Bill? We were on the kitchen table, on the bed, on the wall, on the floor. I said, Deacon, wait a minute, Mommy. Let me finish and then you can get a snack. No, no. She, he said... You gonna tell me who 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 was it, Sheila? You it Bill or me? And she like stopped it. <laughs> I stopped it. I said, Dick yeah. And she said, You helped me at a time when I needed help, and now I'm grateful for a man helping me. He was like, Me, oh, you talking about Bill? You talking about how he helped you? And so he keep asking her, and she said, Oh, it happened organically because he keeps asking her how y'all came to get, come together. She said it happened organically, and she said, And right now I don't want to do anything to mess that up. I said, right, y'all know that she said right now. I don't know. Y'all don't like this Bill and Sheila storyline, but I'm here for it. 
it was something completely different and i want them to keep going with it and keep going with it and, and show us what happened she said i got a powerful man on my side a deacon i can't mess that up but i am happy that you are the new owner of this place and everything and he was like thank you and um then Deacon messed around and kissed Sheila, I guess, because he said, "You gonna, I just got to know if you are you really loving Bill." And she, she like, "Yeah, she do." I don't know, y'all. And but she tells him, "Uh, uh-uh, uh, I can't be kissing you because I can't mess this up with Bill." So Deacon, I just want to tell you congratulations, and she going about her business or whatever. I said, "All right, Deacon, don't 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 get my girl in the trouble." with bill <laughs> don't don't send my girl back to prison because your ego is a hurt because she chose bill like you couldn't do what she needed to be done if you had had the money to pay off a judge and could have blackmailed steffi and finn then she would have been right there with you but you couldn't do that so she had to go to somebody that could actually do that for her well anyways y'all that was the bold and the beautiful today don't forget to like comment and subscribe to the channel and speaking of comments y'all be sure that it's okay for everyone to have their different opinions, but you can create your own thread and have your own opinion about something. What you're not going to do is badger other people because their opinions are not the same, not on this channel. Now, if you don't want to do that and you want to have disagreements with someone, find another channel and it's okay for you to do that. We'll be okay over here, but we I want to create an environment where everyone can have their opinion. And even if it's different, create your own thread and say, this is my opinion about it. And that's it. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you tomorrow. Goodbye.